So I did post this particular image on my Instagram feed and I got a lot of feedback concerning how this image was shot, how it was lit, how it was color graded and how it was edited, right? And there's a bit of a downside concerning how it was shot and how it was lit because I have no behind the scenes of this particular shot just because it was during one of my online class sessions. So I'm going to use this opportunity to talk about my classes that I have been um, giving out although it wasn't public before but i'm trying to make it public and i want to make it a big thing right so here on youtube i want to make sure you also have the opportunity to know that there's a class going on so i have this one-on-one -on -one class sessions can either be in person or can be online where i take you through whatever problems you have what you want to get over or what you want to improve on online and in person it's customizable concerning your needs in photography can be editing can be photography and in photography i mean can be shooting lighting posing um planning um compositioning and many more just hit me up in my dms with your problem and what you want to upgrade in concerning photography and we'll find a suitable price for you we'll find a suitable day for you and we're always available so just give me a hit up in my dms and let's just have this nice and cool conversation about my class that i am having so yeah make, make it a point to you know come join the class and join the class well i've been talking a lot i want us to get back into this video and before i start don't forget to subscribe make it a point to turn on that bell notification icon so that whenever i post a new video you'll be alerted all the time and you'll be the first to come and watch and come and type first to watch and first to comment you know what i'm just joking so let's just get into today's video this is what i shot this is during that during the class this is how this image was shot with a 100 millimeter lens f7.1 iso 100 shutter speed 1 over 160 168 of a second i'm not going to mention the lighting but if you're really good at lighting you probably know it might be one lighting but there were other things involved right and this is what i edited the image to be so i didn't really do a lot in lightroom i think i did just the basic hsl and that was it and detailing and lens correction so first off whenever i pick an image i make sure i lens correct it right come to basic i know the color profile i shot in and that color profile is camera standard but whenever you upload an image into lightroom lightroom gives you a profile of adobe color so from 2017 18 19 20 21 lightroom photoshop right you have the option to change your profiles here so just change your profile to whatever profile you shot in when you were uh, shooting and i think below 2015 you'll find it in the camera calibration tab right i did these adjustments made sure my intent was a plus five whenever whenever i have a white background it was a trick i learned from one of my mentors whenever i have a white background i make sure my intent is on plus five and i adjust anything to make sure this white looks like true white right exposed for my picture using the exposure here because whatever adjustment i did in the hsl tab affected my exposure so this is the before without the exposure with the exposure didn't add contrast opened up my shadows just because i wanted to see some information here in my shadows added a bit of white to boost that white background i needed that white background to pop out and oh i did have a question on how i was able to pull out that melanin skin from this particular image mostly it's about color combinations these kind of color combinations help when you're color grading too right so i've also had questions on how to understand color how to go about knowing these kind of color combinations i always say this it's always trying and practicing and making mistakes and coming back and trying after a long while in shooting with shooting with white backgrounds and dark skin models I realized that blue helps brown helps um, um there's a shade of green that also helps yellow helps yellow and um a brown skin perfect right so if i should pull up let's say an adobe color view and i'm to um look for the say triad colors of this blue i'm going to get different different ranges but with white everything works blue green white brown so i have brown which is the subject skin 
light or melanin or however you want to put it and i have white from her lingerie set and i have blue from the jeans and i have the white background and the black hair so looking at this when i'm working on this image it's not really going to be a problem so in tone curve like i said i did nothing but majority of that editing was done here in the hso so when i toggle between on and off this is what you're seeing right so in the hue i did change the hues of the reds towards the oranges and i made sure the hues of the oranges was towards the red just because when you take the color view when you draw a 360 color view the red moves from right and comes back to red again so red red right so it goes to red to orange oranges to yellow yellows to greens greens to aqua aqua to blue and you know what i mean so when i'm moving this towards the orange and i'm moving this towards the reds i'm trying to harmonize these colors so that they don't look different from each other change the hues of the blues towards the aqua region so that i can have a different feel because i don't like seeing my blues to be blues here in the saturation i did reduce the saturation of the yellow so that because i shot in the room and the room was a bit warm i have some yellow cast on the white wall right so if i should bring the yellows back you can see the white wall changing not what i want to see took away the saturation of the purple and the magenta i always do that whenever i shoot an image i just don't like to see them in my image reduce the saturation of the oranges and the reds just because whenever you change your profile to common standard it also adds a bit of color and changes the hue that is why you can see hue changes in the reds and in the oranges and also these changes here so if you really want to understand these tabs i have a playlist on understanding color grading i'll link it up here make it a point to go and watch and understand these basic tabs involved in the color grading process and here in the luminance this is where most of the magic happens darkening the skin right so the luminance of the orange the luminance of the red increase the luminance of the yellow just because i know the yellow is on the white background and that's of also the blue right to make the blue stand out more to make it look like the same amount of light hitting it from the head was hitting it from below too so the reason why you can see too much light here and less light is because of light fall off which should be in one of my videos i think um, i'll look for it and i'll link it down in the description below and all yeah and also that's one thing when it comes to me editing i don't like using frequency separation i use dodging and bending and people wonder how i smoothen my skin i just take away the sharpness and the skin looks smooth already like it looks less sharp right kind of blurry but no yeah it still has textures and it looks real to that of her skin so from here i took this into photoshop and that's what you're seeing these black bars as a result of me trying to have that four by five crop take a look at this image right this is how it was shot this is the dimension that came from the camera when i crop this to four by five for instagram cropping I'm going to lose a lot of information down here which i don't want i like to keep i would like to keep everything here right and this trick can only happen when you have a seamless background a plain background not a busy background well if you're good at photoshop and you can extend a busy background kudos to you but to me i don't do that so i duplicated this picked up my crop tool by holding c on the keyboard make sure my ratio here was 4 by 5 to let you see that this thing changes the instagram story goes 16 by 9 no sorry it's 9 by 16 instead so this is the instagram story crop size so 4 by 5 is when you're posting it on your feed sorry 4 by 5 and you have this crop when you extend it so that um, your image or your subject stays in the middle you have these black bars to be able to clear these black bars pick up your marquee to make a selection so that some also touches your background which is a white seamless background right click and click on free transform hold shift and drag to the right same can be said and done to the left right click free transform hold shift and drag and there you have it let's deselect and we've extended the background not what i wanted to show you but yes this is what i did to extend the background so that i can post the full image on my instagram page without 
having a worry of Instagram cropping out the most essential part of the image. So let's delete this and let me show you what happened during the retouch. So this is the full retouch like you saw on my Instagram page. Let's hide everything and review one by one. So this layer, which is the healing layer, this is where majority of the things happened. I healed everything, fixing the background, making sure the hair was a bit round, fixing this patch of a hair over here, removing the blemishes and all. And that happened during the healing. So as you can see, the before and after. I have a video on how to heal, how to reduce textures using clone stamp to using patch 2 and the healing brush 2 to also take away blemishes. I'll link everything up here. Make it a point to check them out because they are helpful. All these single videos help you become one of the best researchers you probably have in your area. Right, so from there, you guys know, like I said, I don't like using frequent separation because I found a better way to go about editing skin, which takes a lot of time. I'm not going to lie to you. I have a video on how to understand dodging and burning. I have a lot of videos on dodging and burning. I think I have an intensive one and I'll make sure to update that intensive one later in the future. So you guys should just let me know down in the comment section below if you're interested in another upgraded version of understanding dodging and burning and this is what happened in the dodging and burning folder i just have two layers when i hold alt or option on the keyboard and i click on the mask this is what happened in the dodge and this is what happened in the burn and in all giving you this amazing skin edit i hope you can see right so after that you know in lightroom after taking away some colors i realized some parts of the skin was also losing some colors and already underneath the neck which had a lot of shadows don't end up getting color and also the reflection from the wall the wall was yellow so that reflection should also have that yellow feel over here so i'm going to have that also lost because i took away the yellows from the background right so that being said and oh the dodging and burning was also used and fixing the eye with all those blemishes in there the healing did some parts of the job and the dodging and burning continued all right coming back to the color it's just a new layer with the blending mode change to color brush flow of five using my graphics tablet so let's take a look at this side of the skin by turning on the color, you do realize I've introduced some of the skin color there just to make sure there's a harmony of color. This is what I use to color blend when I feel like there are some colors missing on the skin. So before, take a look at this area too. And after, before and after. Let's go down to this area, before and after. And I think, where else? Yeah, I think that was where I had majority of the issue and also I think on the face too, before and after, here. Alright, so after fixing that color issue, I then introduced my color lat, color lookup table lat, as you guys can put it because I did put out this my lat out there when um, I think I created it for the very first time. So if you're interested, if you don't have my lat and you're interested in purchasing it, it's still on sale. My presets are also still on sale. Hit me up in my DMs. I'll make sure to also create um, studio presets for editing in the studio in Lightroom. So make sure you're on the lookout for that one. So after doing all that color grading in Lightroom, I still felt like I needed a big of that's my melanin punch which involved my presets right and this i used i think my choco tone in one so this is the before and after made sure i just masked the subject and not the whole surrounding before and after and i reduced the opacity to 33 so this is a full opacity this can also pass for a very good look i'll just have to mask it away from the jeans and the white bra i mean the white lingerie but on her skin it looks so great right but i'm not one to keep my stuff at 100 so 
at 33 let's see at 50 this is at 50 then this is at 33 what do you guys think what do you guys think should i have left it at 50 or the 33 is okay just let me know down the comment section below and after doing all that i added a bit of noise just to add that organic feel to the image right you guys know how to add noise to your image make sure so all i did was create a new layer a new field layer made sure this was an overlay filled it by holding shift and backspace to give me this fill dialog fill it with 50 percent gray right because it's an overlay so you can't see the effect if i have, if i change the blending mode to normal this is 50 percent gray so overlay doesn't make you see anything come to filter other sorry filter noise and add noise so you can add noise let's zoom in and add the amount of noise you need to this on this layer and this is how you add noises so let's say we add it drastically like this right then we come and reduce the opacity to that noise and this is you add a noise to your image so i added noise and i fixed a bit of hue changes concerning the skin so some parts of the skin were having some reds and also some were having yellow so i made sure the tone on the skin were looking the same by using the hue saturation layer so if i double tap and i go into the red so you can see there's a bit of there's a color range of reds that have been tackled and you can see the hue changed over there i'm not sure you will see this if i should toggle between okay i think you can see it you can see it all over here right so before and after after doing all of this saved the whole recharge so this is the before this is the after before and after i did save this and after saving this this is what ends up so if i should show you from lightroom this is what we edited in lightroom after color grading and everything just take a look at the crop factor and after extending the crop factor now we have our 4x5 color graded skin dodging and burning applied and voila this is what we have i did add a bit of color into this by increasing my vibrance to 15 plus 15 right to make the melanin stand out more exported this and i posted it on instagram and that's where you people had a lot of questions coming in so i hope you guys enjoyed this behind the edits video if you haven't subscribed make it a point to subscribe to the channel turn on that bell notification icon and most importantly kindly share this video on every platform you might find yourself in if you support my channel just share the video so that others can also come learn and subscribe and also share so that we reach out to a lot of people i need to help a lot of people and me helping is me putting out contents like these and if you want my personal time that is where you know you have to pay because you're taking away my personal time to enjoy myself or to do other things so when i have the time i make youtube videos like these when you pick up my personal time you pay for it and we go extensively on why this image looks like this but i'm sure i did make mention of a lot of things i did answer some questions you guys asked when i dropped this image on instagram thank you for joining on this video and i'll see you in my next one peace